tried it twice. I 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 don't know her, I'm coming. So if you think about it, because they're called the living dead, doesn't that mean we're meant to live with the dead? Eh? Yeah. You see, you see, this guy knows what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, this guy. He knows. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. Shut down in May. So here we have the HZCAC. That is the Human Zombie Alliance Center of Alliances. I can show you inside, but it's a pretty important meeting going on in there. That I'm not allowed to attend. You know, I am the the mayor of this establishment. I created the whole thing. Came up with it myself. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, Alan, mate, Alan, what are you doing? Come on, oh, you know, we've got a camera crew here, don't you? Come on, come on, come on. This is my this is my good best buddy in the whole wide world, Alan Grayson. You say hello. Hello. Alan and me, we came up with this whole idea to bring together humans and zombies, and it's brilliant because because we are absolutely the best buddies ever. You'll never be two people more connected than we are. We do everything together. We, we dinner together, we go, we go to the cinema, you know, there's, there's not really much to watch. We, we play sports together. It's brilliant because I think it's quite beautiful how such a devastating tragedy like the zombie apocalypse can bring people together who are so, so, so similar in every way. Our relationship is strictly work based. <laughs> You're right, Joe, that you are, mate. Don't touch me. That's life. It's like minding a child. Feed him, water him, let him ruin what he will. Everyone will run smoothly. But no matter what he says, it was not my idea to live alongside these beasts. They're disgusting and I would much rather shoot them than live with them. I can't be Working with Alan is a dream. It's so nice just having like someone there who you can just relate to and talk to. I tell him everything. He's a he's a brilliant listener. <laughs> and then I realised it was Ian McKellen. <laughs> it was it was in the hold. Seriously, tell him anything and he won't he won't judge you anything. He'll just sit there listening in and then he'll comfort you. He doesn't use any words, but you can see in his face just all the love coming out. It's radiant. It's absolutely beautiful. They have to be apart. He's so poor. He's so poor. What, what have you got in there? In the what? Sorry. In 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 the shed. What what's that? In, sorry. Say, sorry. Say again. We should. I don't, I honestly, don't, I don't know what you're, what you're saying. The whole point of this whole establishment that we've created here is just based upon the fact that it doesn't matter if you're, if you're black, if you're white, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're dead, if you're alive, or even if you're Spanish, everyone is equal. Where, where, where's Alex? Uh, wait, he's got work to do. Won't be here for a while. It's, it's just, just a regular zombie.